guys, I'm back today to film a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. Um, this is kind of like a collective Dollar Tree haul. Lately I've been obsessed with them. Um, I have two main stores that I go to back and forth. And so this is about um, maybe three shopping trips that I've done between the two of them. So I've got a wide range of stuff to show you, so let's get started. The first items that I picked up, these are just like cleaning items. I picked up two packages of these window wipes. Um, I really like to use these in the bathrooms. <clears throat> I just kind of keep them underneath the sink. I find it's easier than having to um, carry paper towels and Windex down there. You know, sometimes you go to clean the windows and then you don't have it in that bathroom and you're like, where the hell is it? So I really like these packs and I usually buy the Windex kind. Um, but I saw these for a dollar and I was like, well, you know, it's pretty, it's just a pretty good deal, I think. And they tend to dry out too, so I would rather have a pack for a dollar dry out than a three or four dollar pack of the Windex dry out. And then I was able to find one of these dial hand soaps. This is the yellow raspberry and black sugar version. We go through hand soaps like crazy here because my six year old, I don't know what she does in the bathroom, but I mean, her pumps just disappear. And this is a really nice citrus smell. I don't really get so much raspberry as like a like a really fruity, um, like a berry orange scent. But either way, that's really good. Um, next, I have these Ziploc, these Ziploc bags, and they have. I'm sorry about the glare. These have like portion controls on them, so to put nuts or crackers or things like that, small things that can fit into a bag. Um, and you can measure, um, you know, for dieting and things like that. So it just kind of takes out the measuring work for you. Um, and there's 40 bags in here, and I just thought that was awesome. Um, to beauty-related stuff, I found this green tea facial mask. I love facial masks, and so this was kind of a no-brainer for me. There's only one in this pack, um, but for a dollar, I mean, it wasn't much of a much of a question. I had never even looked at the back at the ingredients. Mm. That seems about normal though for what I usually see. I usually buy my masks at um, Ross or Marshalls and so those ingredients are pretty much the same. I picked up some scissors for my crafting supplies. I'm always having to run to the kitchen to grab my kitchen shears and I'm kind of tired of doing that, so pick those up for a buck. I was able to finally find some washi tape. This was the only washi tape I found, and they had two packages, but I only picked up one. So I th you get a lot on each on each roll. Let's see, five five meters each. I don't know, but really cute to go in my planner. I picked up. I don't know if you guys are hearing that, but my fridge just made the funniest sound. Okay, I picked up some more toothpaste for my daughter. She said she was running low, and then I went ahead and picked up some more toothpaste for my husband and I to go in, um, to our bathroom. We can never have enough. I also picked up my daughter these really cute Finding Nemo Kleenexes. So three packages of these for a dollar. Um, obviously, this is Dollar Tree. Everything was a dollar, but I thought that was a pretty good deal because I usually buy these smaller packs and if you go to like Walgreens sometimes you're paying a little bit more you're paying that kind of premium price so that they can make their money off of it so three name brand packs for a buck was a pretty good deal she just throws those into her backpack I this is the only wet and wild item I was able to find besides some cheaper looking um, lipsticks and this is just the pencil sharpener and I mainly got it because of the really big hole I have one awesome concealer. It's almost like in a crayon form, but I can't sharpen it because I don't have a sharpener big enough. So I'm hoping that this one is big enough. So that's why I picked up that. I was watching another ladies haul. I wish I could remember her name. I think it was, I think it's 45 and fab. Um, I was watching her Dollar Tree hauls and she mentioned this perfume Blossom Blast, um, which is like a dupe of Flower Bomb. And I went and looked at my store, and they had a couple, so I smelled it in the store, and I was like, well, that smells pretty good. So I went ahead and picked it up, and that's what the bottle looks like. I think all of the bottles are pretty much the same 
uh, shape as this. But it smells pretty good. It's like a musky floral scent. I mean, obviously it's not going to be my favorite perfume, but something to add to the collection and, you know, play it up. It was only a dollar for this big bottle of perfume, so I don't have high hopes for it, but I thought that was pretty cool to find. And I did smell some of the other ones they had, but I don't know. It was too musky for me, so that one was probably the only one I think I could handle. I found, oh yeah, um, let me see if I can scooch this back enough. I found this really cute, I guess it's like a file type folder thing, or a file holder, not folder. And But I got this with the intent of find, like using the command strips and command stripping this on the side of my makeup table and using this to store my hot tools, obviously when it's not in use because this is um, a plastic. But um, it matches my makeup room decor and I just thought that that would be pretty cute and cheap for a buck. So we're going to see how that works out. If it doesn't, I'm sure I can find some other use for it. And I think that's it for those types of things. I have, I think the rest is all decor or seasonal. So I was able to find some of these really cute wall decors. Let me see. I'll just kind of fold it so you can see the design. So this is a hot air balloon and it says make your dreams come true. Let me see if I can get that to focus. Come on. I don't want to have to hit the autofocus. <sighs> Whatever, I'll do it. Okay. There you go. Make your dreams come true. And so it comes like this on a big sheet and it's double sided. So I think I'm going to put that in my daughter's bedroom. And then I was also able to find this one for my makeup wax crafting room. And it's like these arrows with feathers and it says wild, well it doesn't say and, but it just says wild free. And my kind of theme in there is like um, southwestern slash Indian feathers, dream catchers, that type of thing. So this just fit in kind of perfectly with the theme I already have in there. I got these really cute doorknob hangers. I love this one. It's like a hot, almost fuchsia pink. And then I love the bells. I love the pink glittery, um, glittery and then the white too. I just thought that was really great. And in retrospect, I probably should have just gotten two of those, but I also picked up this red and white door hanger. So I'm not sure which door is going to be for which, but either way, they're very cute and festive. I like having door hangers, especially on my back patio door. Um, because I, I kind of know when someone's supposed to be coming in and out, so if I do hear a jingle, I know to go grab my gun, you know? So, all right. Um, let's see. This is really cute. Let me back my camera up so you can see. Forever and always, some something really cute and glittery to put on the wall for Valentine's Day. I like the way it folds down. It's easy to store. Okay. Uh, I'm just get these out of the way. These are super glittery. And these are some, let me see if I can separate one for you guys. St. Patrick's Day, like, placemats. There we go. Super glittery. They're getting glitter all over the house. Anytime I move the bag of Russell, like, glitter falls out everywhere. But um, those are going to be really cute to stage dishes on. Um, kind of set up my table. So that's kind of why I got those and I know it's really early for St. Patrick's Day and I did pick up some Easter stuff as well, but I realized the first Dollar Tree I went to a couple weeks ago had a ton of St. Patrick's Day stuff. Then the next time I went in they had a little bit and they were bringing out Easter stuff. So I assume that the way they do it is once they run out they move on to the next. So I figured if I see something I really want when I see it I need to pick it up then and not wait because I have that issue at places like Ross or Marshall's where I don't pick up something that I think I really like and then it's gone. So I've kind of vowed to myself, if there's something I really want, I'm going to pick it up when I see it. And so that's kind of what that was. Um, just to get this out of the way, I picked up this um, Certificate of Achievement. This is just like a photo frame. Um, this is actually called a document frame. But I picked this up because I'm doing... Um, a DIY lantern out of Dollar Tree frames and I've already got the base already but I need to make the top and so I needed a plain black um, frame to tear apart and make the top out of so that's the reason why I picked that up. 
and I'll probably make a video to show my lantern once it's finished, uh, maybe the next few days. So onto some Easter stuff. This was a super cute Easter sign. And I couldn't even believe that it was just a dollar because I feel like I could pay, you know, easily ten bucks at Michael's for this. Sorry about that, guys. This thing is just shaking all over the place. Alright, this is the best I'll be able to hold it up for you guys. So, Happy Easter, cute vintage looking bunny, and then of course the super um, green and pink glittery butterfly frame. So, when I let go, it kind of, you know, wobbles around, but super adorable. My daughter's going to love to see that on the wall. I may even put that in her room. She loves to decorate. I picked up some of this. I guess it's called natural raffia, raffia, um, to do um, a lantern decor with, as well as some of this moss, this floral moss. It's coming up extremely green on camera because of the bright flash, the bright light, but um, it's more of a darker green with your eyes, but I thought those two would look great, kind of layered on top of each other. I also got some of these butterfly picks, they're just called ornaments, um, to go into that as well because it's very springy, so obviously this would be for my Easter lantern, I think I said that though. And to go with that as well, some of these egg picks, so these Easter egg picks, it's got a yellow, a purple, and then these polka dot pink and blue. I really love these and I love that they have the coordinating ribbons underneath them as well. Very festive. I picked up a Valentine's ribbon, and I'm going to use this at the top of my lantern for my Valentine's decor, and then an Easter ribbon um, for the same purpose. So purple for that one. Let me put this over here. I got this cute little vase, and I'll show you what that's for in a second. Let me just back up. There you go. That's the vase. And for the vase, I picked up this decor and then these flowers so kind of had in mind just kind of popping these two in here obviously you want to see the pink up top um, and of course playing around with it a little bit but essentially that's what I was going for and I was either going to put this on my daughter's nightstand or somewhere in my makeup uh, wax craft room I just thought those colors were so pretty and like really really festive for spring all right and the rest are all just floral pieces that I chose I got a couple of these onion grass I love the way these look these are very spring to me so they kind of just go in the back of a um, floral arrangement kind of almost like filler two of these let's see what these are called berries. These purple berries. I picked up two. These are called the Cosmos, the pink Cosmos. I love those. Those are beautiful. And then I don't know why I picked up only one, but these are the lavenders. I only picked up one. I thought I had had two and I was already at the checkout and I was like, I am ready to go. So I need to run back to that Dollar Tree and pick up a second lavender. Um, and I'm also going to pick up a few other things because now I have some more ideas in my mind so I kind of know what I need. But uh, that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. There are a few more other things um, like hangers or um, I think I had some like deodorant and, and something else but this is the majority of it. Um, I'm glad to have filmed this now so I can kind of decorate with some of this floral, I'll go ahead and fix my lantern, get it up done completely, and uh, just get everything where it's supposed to be. I apologize for my voice, guys. I think I'm getting sick. That's a little bit better. So thanks for watching this Dollar Tree haul, and I think I'm probably going to have one here the next maybe two weeks, because I am Dollar Tree obsessed lately, and especially um, with the Easter stuff. I have a lot more Easter stuff in mind to pick up, so... I will have another Dollar Tree haul here soon. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.